Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today we're going to be looking at something really, really cool. Now, I've been looking forward to making this video all week, and that's because right here we have got the Force Tube VR. Now, this is a brand new model from ProTube that has this module on the back of it that adds haptic gun recoil feedback and rumble feedback to your VR gunstock. Now, ProTube, if you're not aware of them as a company, they're well respected in the VR gun stock market, with over 5,000 stocks sold to date. And they're official partners of the ESL and the VR League. A lot of the onward pro players were using these stocks back at Oculus Connect 5. Now, the team at ProTube have been working hard on this brand new product and were kind enough to ship me one of their prototypes before they officially launched their Kickstarter campaign for this product. Now the Kickstarter campaign is due to be live right now and I'll make sure I put a link to it in the description down below as soon as it's up. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Force Tube VR whilst going over the specs. I'll show you how to set it up, we're going to test it out in some of the top VR shooters and then at the end of the video of course I'll give you my final conclusion on whether this product is worth your time and money. As always I'll put timestamps to everything in the description down below. So I hope you guys and girls enjoy this video and without further ado let's dive in. Okay, so first up, let's just compare side by side. Here is an original ProTube. Now these kits can be completely customized. You can have a chrome or carbon rail, and you can customize different color controller cups. Now ProTube have mounts for the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Windows MR, including the Samsung Odyssey, PSVR, and they also want to add kits in the future for both the Valve Knuckles and the Oculus Quest. Every part of the ProTube is completely adjustable with these little knobs or using the Allen key provided with the kit. And now here is the new Force Tube VR version with the carbon rails. I have to say this setup looks super slick. Both the setups I'm showing you in this video use magnetic cut mounts and a shoulder sling. And this makes it much easier when you want to take your controller off the rail to either reload your gun or grab your backup pistol. You can even add a bipod to both of these setups if sniping is your bag. Now I'm going to be giving away the original ProTube that I'm showing here with the Oculus Rift mounts to one of my lucky subscribers. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is click the link in the description which will take you to the Gleam.io giveaway page. The giveaway will end in two weeks and I'll announce the winner on my social media. If you already own the original ProTube, you can simply back the Force Tube module on Kickstarter, and when it arrives, just swap the butt of the stock over to the new one. If you don't own a ProTube at all, you can buy everything together as a complete Force Tube VR kit. Inside the Force Tube module are four 18350 replaceable batteries powering the device. You then have two rumble motors which add both high and low frequency vibrations, and a single recoil motor which powers the sliding plate at the back, providing up to 60 newtons of haptic feedback. The whole module weighs in at around 750 grams. The module features a simple on and off switch at the front and has between 7 to 10 hours of battery life between charges. So now that's the specs done, let's move on to the setup. Now setup was super, super simple. All you need to do is turn on the force tube and you'll see a green flashing light, which means it's in pairing mode. Connect it to your PC using Bluetooth and <laughs> that's it. It's just so, so simple, which means we can get straight to the fun part and test it out in some of the best VR shooters. And of course, first up is Onward. Now this is one of the first games to have full native support for the Force Tube on the Steam VR version. Support for the Oculus Home version will be coming in the near future. All I needed to do to get this working was to add the parameter Force Tube in the startup settings in Steam. Once that was done, I was good to go. Now the recoil using the force tube in this game is dependent on which weapon you use. For example, a sniper rifle feedback will feel different to an automatic rifle. I would describe the recoil feedback as a kick with each trigger pull on single fire mode. When you're on automatic fire mode, you get a kick initially and then you get rumble whilst you're holding down the trigger and firing. Sadly, in Onward, there's no stock calibration tool in the menu, so I would advise if you play other shooters, particularly contractors, that you set up the ProTube in Onward first. 
So moving on, next up was War Dust. Again, another game that natively supports the Force Tube. Now I didn't even have to add a parameter to launch this game, it just worked as soon as I loaded the game up. The recoil feedback in this game seemed more pronounced for some reason. It would constantly kick when I was in automatic firing mode, which felt much better than what I experienced in Onward, with the single kick and then rumble as I was firing. It just get this constant kick which makes you feel like a total badass. This of course all could be tweaked in the future and this is just my first impressions so far. However, one problem I found with Wardust is that the force tube would rumble with the footsteps in game. I would have definitely preferred that to have been turned off. Next up, I tried playing a classic VR shooter. Of course, it's Pavlov. Now, right now, this game isn't natively supported, so you have to use a little workaround. And basically what you do is you find the EXE for Pavlov, run it in Windows 7 compatibility mode, and then use a backwards compatibility tool provided by ProTube. Now this intercepts the haptic feedback signal for the controllers and converts it into feedback on the force tube. Once it was up and running, it worked surprisingly well with different levels of feedback sparking the kick and the rumble. And for the most part, it worked absolutely fine. As this game uses a lot of single-handed weapons and melee weapons, swapping between weapons using the magnetic mounts was really useful. Especially being able to push the tube behind my back using the sling and then having full access to the handguns and the knives made such a big difference. As soon as I was ready again, just pulled the sling back up in front and then I was ready to rock my rifle again. Sadly, again though, there wasn't any stock calibration tool in the menu. Last, but by no means least, is Contractors. Now, using a stock in this game, just like Onward, is a pure joy to use. Now, Contractors features a really nifty gun stock calibration tool, so you can get everything lined up just perfectly how you want it. I really wish this was implemented in every VR shooter in the future. Just like Pavlov, Contractors isn't natively supported yet, although the workaround worked exactly the same way. You just run the game with Windows 7 compatibility mode and then run the backwards compatibility tool from ProTube and you're good to go. Both Contractors and Onward were the stars of the show here. Not only do they have excellent online communities to play online, but they also have great single player experiences using bots if you're a complete noob like me. Okay guys and girls, so here is my conclusion. Using a standard gun stock in virtual reality shooters makes lining up your shots much, much easier. And just like any tactile accessory like a steering wheel or a HOTAS flight stick, it adds to the immersion of the game you're playing because you're physically connected to the experience. And that's what ProTube have done with the Force Tube, and they've, they've taken it to another level by adding haptic feedback and recoil feedback to this stock. And just like when I tried out the B Haptics haptic feedback kit a few weeks ago, adding a small amount of haptic feedback to an experience can make a big, big difference to the immersion. Now, personally, I prefer this solution to gun recoil feedback by actually having a stock up against your shoulder and feeling the feedback in your shoulder. It feels very natural. Whereas the, the sleeves from B Haptics that I tried a few weeks back, it, it kind of did add that kind of feedback uh, feeling, but it just wasn't as well implemented as this is. So if you're looking to take your sort of VR shooters to another level, this is the product that I would recommend. Now, using a stock like this isn't going to make you a pro, sadly. Uh, I'm still a bit of a noob when it comes to playing in competitive multiplayer games in shooters, but I did have a lot of fun playing with bots in some of the single player modes in these games. And I think if shooters are your bag, you're really, really going to love this product. The only thing that might set you back at first is the reloading, but I have to say the muscle memory and over time, it becomes very quick and very natural, especially with these magnetic mounts, makes a huge difference. The Kickstarter campaign for the Force Tube VR should be live right now. So you can either buy the module to upgrade your current Pro Tube, or you can buy a completely assembled kit. Now the module is going to start at 200 euros and a full kit will set you back around 270 euros. 
My suggestion on how they can make this uh, kit even better is that I would have preferred an internal battery solution over charging uh, and swapping batteries manually. Uh, just like all my other VR accessories, you know, having a micro USB or a USB-C connector for charging would have been a much better solution. And this is actually a stretch goal in the Kickstarter campaign. So if they reach over 300,000 euros, then this will be implemented in. So fingers crossed. But in the future, I hope more developers add native force tube support to their games. And definitely every VR shooter out there should take a page out of contractor's book and add a gunstock calibration tool. It just makes life so, so much easier. So I think this is an awesome product. I'd highly recommend it. Thanks again to ProTube for supplying this kit early. I feel very privileged being able to try out some of this awesome hardware early. And I wish them the best of luck with their Kickstarter campaign. But let me know what you think of this accessory in the comments down below. Do you have a ProTube already and are looking to upgrade to get the Force Tube module? Or are you looking now to get a full Force Tube kit? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.